Good morning and welcome to our opening of your school moments. The theme for our Mass is Shining the Light of Jesus. As we gather in our classrooms, we pray that we will always know that God is with us always and that when we use our gifts and talents to do our best in school to help our neighbours and classmates, we shine the light of Jesus in our world. May God bless you as we pray together that God would bless us now and through the rest of our school year. Help us, Lord, to always walk in your light and use well the talents you have given each of us. May all in this school feel value for who we are and in your sight. May all we do and learn be in your service and in your service of love, both now and in the future. We ask this in the name of Jesus our Lord. We begin our Mass together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's loving presence surround us as we begin our school year together. We offer this Mass for every boy and girl, for every member of staff in our schools in Congles and St. Joseph's Primary Schools. And we're delighted to welcome you here today this opening Mass. It's a special occasion when we put our trust in God and ask his protection at all times. And so we begin our Mass, we ask God's forgiveness for our faults and feelings, for our sinfulness and particularly for ways in which we needlessly hurt each other. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Help us, Lord, this school year. Help us in our work and in our friendships. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's now listen to the word of God. A reading from the first letter of John. My dear friends, we must love each other. Love comes from God, and when we love each other, it seems that we have been given new life. We are now God's children, and we know him. God has shown his love for us when he sent his only son into this world to give us life. Real love is not our love for God, but his love for us. God sent his son to be the sacrifice by which our sins are forgiven. Dear friends, since God loves us this so much, we must love each other. God is love. If we keep on loving others, we will stay one in our hearts of God, and he will stay one with us. The word of the Lord. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I have called you by your name.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus was setting out on a journey when a man ran up, knelt before him and put this question to him. Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You must not kill. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not bring false witness. You must not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, I have kept all these from my earliest days. Jesus looked steadily at him and loved him. And he said, There is one thing you lack. Go and sell everything you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But his face fell at these words, and he went away sad, for he was a man of great wealth. Jesus looked round and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded by these words. But Jesus insisted, My children, he said to them, How hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. They were more astonished than ever. In that case, they said to one another, Who can be saved? Jesus gazed at them. For men, he said, It is impossible but not for God, because everything is possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. So my dear friends, good morning all of you. I hope you all are enjoying the school days. And it is a good time or good occasion uh, to pray for our parents, teachers, and friends as a family. When we reflect today's gospel, what do you remember from today's reading? The rich man asked Jesus what he must do to have eternal life. What does Jesus say? Jesus says, remains the man of the Ten Commandments that he should not kill, should not steal or tell lies and that he must respect his parents. The man says that he has kept all the commandments since he was young. And so Jesus gives him an extra challenge. What was it that Jesus asked the man to do? Jesus asked the man to sell his nice things and to give all his money to people who are poor. Once he had done this, Jesus said, that the man could follow him. How did the man feel? Did he sell all his things and give the money to those who needed it? No. Why do you think he didn't? How would you feel if someone came along and said that you had to sell all your favorite toys, gifts, or that you had to give them away to someone who didn't have any? But this is exactly what Jesus does ask for us. That if we have more than enough, that we share what we have with others. That way all people in the world would be able to have the things that they need. So let, let us reflect. Can you think of time when you have shared with other people? How did it feel? And can you think of time when someone wouldn't share with you, how did that feel? It is important to share our things so that everyone has enough and so that the world is a fair place for everyone to live. So let us think that we can do this in our life. God bless you all. Amen.
And now we have our prayers for the faithful. Let us make our prayers to God and ask his blessing for our schools. Look after us, Lord, during this year. Help us live in this school as a Christian community. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who work in our school, for teachers and all its staff. Bless them and their families. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all past peoples, for those who left last year, we remember especially those who are sick, unemployed, or in any sort of trouble. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For anyone who has died, Lord, have mercy on them and welcome them home to heaven. We pray for all those who are dear to us, and especially those who were there to the life of our school community. We especially remember in this time Mr. Kush, the previous principal, Mrs. Thomas and Kate Martin's mom, Yvonne. Lord, have mercy on them and welcome them home to heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for people who are new in our school, pupils and teachers. We pray especially for our new P1 children. Lord, as May they all be happy in St. Con- Help us to work hard and be the best versions of ourselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for our school community. We pray for all our teachers and staff, those new to us and those who have been with us. May you bless them as they look after us and teach us this year. We pray to the Lord. We pray for anyone that is new to our school, especially our primary ones, as they begin their journey in our school communities. We hope they will be happy and find plenty of friends. We pray to the Lord. Help us, Lord, to use well the talents you have given each of us. Help us bring them to our studies so we work to the best of our ability. We all in this schools feel valued. For we, who are we, who we are, in your sight. May all we do and learn to be in your service of love, both now and in the future. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. We hope they will be happy and find plenty of friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for our families who look after us and love us. Help them come to know you more and as they are at home or work while we are in school. May you keep them safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for those in our family who have died. Teach us to share life with those who need comfort. We pray to the Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our Lord, good and the good Lord, of all his holy church. Let us pray. Lord God, accept our gifts and see the goodness of your people who offer them to you. Free us from the influence of evil in our lives by the power of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. God, our loving Father, we are glad to give you thanks and praise because you love us. You sent Jesus, your Son, to bring us to you and to gather us around him as the children of one family. We thank you with the angels and saints as they praise you and sing. Blessed be Jesus, whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin, which keeps us from being friends, and hate, which makes us all unhappy. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always, so that we can live as your children. God, our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. The night before he died, Jesus, your son, showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. Then he broke the bread and gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. So, loving Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. He put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. And so we say together, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Lord our God, listen to our prayer 
send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May this Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the Church, with Francis our Pope, Noel our Bishop, all other bishops, and all who serve your people. We praise you, we, praise you, we, we bless, bless you, you, we thank you. Remember, Father, our families and friends, and all those we do not love as we should. Remember those who have died. Bring them home to you to be with you forever. So we say, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Gather us all together in your kingdom. There we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother. There all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. And so we say, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And so we stand, and at the Saviour's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trust against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter onto my roof, to only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
We give praise to you, O God, for everything that is new and beautiful, for everything which holds promise and brings us joy. Bless us as we start this new year with our friends and teachers. Help us to make the most of every chance we have to start afresh. May we show love to one another and to all. May the new beginning of this school year remind us that you give us chances to start over again and again. Help us forgive others as we receive your forgiveness. Help them to learn and to work together. Help us to listen when we should and know the best words when we speak and when it is better not to speak. We thank you for our friends. Help us to be good friends this year. Help us to be patient with ourselves and others. Bless our schools and keep us safe. Be with us as we travel each day. Help us to be aware of your love shown to us in the people around us. Bless all those who care for us in the school and at home. Help us show our care for them and to say sorry when needed to. May St. Congo and St. Joseph protect us as we live as well as we can, giving thanks and glory to God as they did. Let us pray. May we who have received the love of God this Mass spread the love wherever we are. We ask that in the coming year we may spread the love, kindness and compassion of God in our schools. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just to thank you boys and girls for being with us at Mass today and I wish you a very happy learning year in your school. On behalf of Father James, Father Jane and myself, we wish you all God's blessing in the coming year. We thank all the boys and girls who help with the readings, the prayers and the reflection today. We thank Francis for helping us broadcast the Mass, for all the teachers who helped organise things. We thank Brendan for serving her Mass. May you have a good day, may you have a good week, good month, good year. To all the pupils in St Joseph's Primary School, St Congo's Primary School, we wish all God's blessings on you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. The Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.